What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Ranked Double Ladder with this top tier Drift Phone team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. We just passed 3,000 subs and I cannot thank you guys enough. Rocking out on the scene, like I said, we got Drift Bloom right here and this is the heart and soul of this team. It's holding that weakness policy and unburden as its ability. So weakness policy, you guys already know what weakness policy does, but the unburdened ability means when we we are not holding an item, our speed gets boosted. So if someone triggers our weakness policy, we get the attack boost, and then the ability of Unburden pops off because we have no item, and we get that speed boost as well, so we'll be able to rock out and dominate the rest of the match. This thing has Shadow Ball for stab, Thunder for coverage, Gust for stab, and a speed boost when we are Dynamax, and Tailwind to boost the speed of our allied Pokemon. In the next spot, we got our boy Arcanine over here, Intimidate Arcanine with Flare Blitz, Close Combat, Extreme Speed for first turn priority, and protect holding that white herb so when we go into a close combat our stat boots will just go right back up then we got life orb mimic you and i love this move set on it it has shadow sneak for first turn play rough for big old stab damage wood hammer for a nice coverage grass move that is going to be awesome and it does work against water pokemon and protect we got ourselves competitive milotic for the intimidate mons and all that stuff with an assault vest going with muddy water icy wind at lower speed ice beam for a nice little ice move and brutal swing Exigil in the bottom left. You guys know Exigil rocks out strong, especially Mold Breaker Exigil with that Focus Sash. Normal move set for that thing with EQ, Iron Head, Rock Slide, and Protect. And then in the final spot, we got Bulky Defensive Boy Ferrothorn with Body Press, Iron Defense, to boost his defense. Two stages, Leech Seed for that health to come back and protect. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I've been using this team on the rank ladder, and I've been absolutely loving it. I highly recommend trying it out. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this Drifflin team. What is happening here? We're hopping into battle number one. This guy has a Pikachu, probably a G Max Pikachu. He has a Wulu, probably Evo Lighted. He's got the double, the one that's got the Shuckle, and the Indeedee. Definitely an odd looking team, but it's still kind of throwing me off, and I'm a little scared. Okay, who am I going to lead? Who am I going to lead for battle number one? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. This team, whoever made this team, actually won a big tournament with it. I have no idea what the tournament is, so if you guys do know the tournament, let me know in the comment section down below. But I do know that this team is very, very strong, and it did win a tournament. But I think I'm going to lead Driftblend, no problem. I can go into the Tailwind if I really want to. I could go into Extra Drill as a nice lead, or I could go Arcanine as well for that Intimidate drop. It's Shuckle. Shuckle's a little... He's Shuckle's a little scary, man. Shuckle's a little scary, and we know that. Uh, I'm going to go uh, Extra Drill. I can go into an EQ from there. He has no Intimidate, right? He does not have no Intimidate. I mean, if he goes into Pikachu, I might just swap the Drift Bloom out for, a, uh, for my Ferrothorn. And then be able to drop a hard EQ on that thing. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm going to go... Oh, I only have two more choices. I'm going to go Mimikyu and I'm going to go Ferrothorn. Let's rock it out. Let's get it, baby. Let's go, dude. I'm hyped for this team. His team doesn't seem too fast. The only thing I'm worried about is that Pikachu coming in here and then uh, using that G-Max Bull Crash. And then paralyzing both of us and him just taking speed advantage and then have paralyzed control on the match. But other than that, I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head that link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We've been streaming four to five days every single week. Tons of fun. Come hang out. I'd love to see you guys there. But he goes Whimsicott and Indeedy. This could be a Dynamax Indeedy team. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. I actually might Dynamax my... Uh... Actually, let's set Tailwind first. Do I set Tailwind first? We get a Psychic Surge. And then uh, we are a mold breaker as well, so we do hit through abilities. We do hit through abilities. About Phil got weird, baby. Okay. So I think I'm going to go tail when I get it started. Just the booster speed, or do I just Dynamax turn one here? And booster speed normally. You know what I'm saying? I could boost her speed normally. But you know what? I'll just go into a tail one. It's no big deal. Who else do I have in the back end? I have Ferrothorn and I have Mimikyu, who I can always Dynamax as well. So I'm going to go here. And I could go for an EQ, but I think I'm just going to pop off in the Iron Head into the Whimsicott, and if he goes for a follow me, then I'll just slide over to the NDD. He goes Tailwind. Ooh, no follow me. No follow me. So we're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind. Good thing I did set this up before I go. And a trick is going to pop out here on who? Give it to my Axe Drill, please. I want my uh, weakness policy still. Which I don't with the target. Ring target. No. What's ring target do? What does ring target do? Okay, so we're not going to be Dynamaxing this thing. I wonder what that ring target does. The check button's going to pop out here, unless it was a weakness policy. That would have been insane if that thing was weakness policy. But okay, so that gave us a ring target, and I have no idea what a ring target does, but he did take a weakness policy, so Drift Bloom's just chilling here, doing its own thing. He's gonna throw out Lubby Wubby Double. Lubby Wubby Double, and we're gonna get our Tailwind off just as well. Okay, let me check my item real quick. Let me check my item. Hopefully, it says what I have. Let's go. Let's go in here. Here, look at it. What is that thing? I never even saw that thing. What is a ring target? An item to be held by a Pokemon moves that normally have no effect will land on a Pokemon holding. Okay, that's not bad. Could be worse. Could have gave me something else. 
Something worse. She just took my weakness policy. I mean, I'm totally cool with it. Shadow Ball has no effect over on double, so now it should have effect, right? Right? Let me read that again before I actually go into it. Let me read that again before I actually go into it. An item to be held by a Pokemon moves that normally have no effect will land on. Okay, yeah. On the Pokemon holding it. No, on the Pokemon holding it. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Um, I think we'll just go for a Shadow Ball over on the... Oh, no, no, no. Thunder over on Indeedee. And then... I don't know. Iron Head. Oh, dude, bro. I'm so confused. I'm thrown off right now. I'm thrown off right now. I'm thrown off because it gave me that item. I didn't know what it did, and I had to take a second read for it. EQ comes out. That works for me. That totally works for me. And, of course, my EQ now hits my, uh, my Drift one. And the Thunder pops out here. And it does connect, which is wonderful. And it goes over here. Boop. Do a little bit of damage on that. Give me the Paralyze. No Paralyze. Cotton Guard's popping out here. Oof. Ah. Don't Cotton Guard. Don't you Cotton Guard on me. Defense raises drastically. Are you serious? Are you serious? We have no special attackers in here. I mean, Ferrothorn's gonna have, have to come up clutch. That's the thing. Hmm. I think we just go for a nice little gust here. Like, I don't... I'm not really worried about this. Actually, Rockside could potentially take out this, uh, NDD. I'm gonna go for the Rockside on this thing. Hopefully the Rockside does. I, it might not. But that's so tough, dude. This, this double is going for another Cotton Guard. That's a fact. That is 100% a fact. This thing's going to boost its defense through the roof. And I don't even know how I'm going to do this. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Because look at that defense bolt. Look at that defense bolt. That is intense. Gus is actually going to slide over here and take out the NDD. Okay, so this thing, I think it's plus 6. I think Cotton Guard's a plus 3. Which is absurd. Which is an absurd move to just boost your defense like that. The only thing, I think the only way I'm going to be able to kill this is going to be Fire Thor Leech seeding it up and just tanking out. Unless this thing has body press, which I think it learns, and it just dumps on me. Yo, get out of my face. I mean, I'm going to have to start uh, taking this thing out with special attacking moves, right? I'm going to have to go Thunder into it. Maybe get the Paralyze. Oh, I might have to Dynamax this thing. This Drift one? I think I got to Dynamax the thing. Yeah, I got a Dynamax to go for special attacking moves. Because this thing's defense is way too high, so we got to start uh, slapping up on this thing right now. Right now, baby. And then I could just go for an Iron Head and take out this Whimsy Poo. This Whimsy Poo. Are we going to see a double Dynamax here? Like, I have to Dynamax to Drift Bloom. I know it doesn't have its weakness policy. It has that little ring on it. That was actually a good Pokemon to give the ring target. Because Ghost and normal attacks do not hit. Especially, like, this thing's probably rocking out with Double Edge. So, in that case, we're sitting pretty tough. And it has body press probably, which will now affect me. Oh my lord, this thing actually might take me out in one shot. This might have been a bad Dynamax choice, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. We will see, we will see. But I need this thing to be Dynamax. That's the thing, like, this thing's defense bolt is too much right now, and I can't handle it. None, no other Pokemon can handle it right now. This is our only special attack in the party right now. So we gotta go for a Switch of Rouge coming out here. It's protected by the Psychic Terrain. What's a Switch of Rouge did nothing. Okay, Iron Head pops out. Yeet takes out. The Whimsy Poo. And hopefully this thing can go. Hopefully, uh, my Drift Bloom can do some damage on this thing. And we get the Speed Boost as well, which is lovely. Come on, take this. It's probably not going to take it out, but there we go, yo. We got Speed Advantage on this thing, so I can actually go into a, uh, another Airstream next turn and potentially take this thing out. Hopefully it doesn't take out my Drift Bloom. Hopefully it doesn't take out my Drift Bloom. Cotton Guard comes out here. You're boosted as high as you can go. Tailwind's Peter out. We got the Speed Advantage now. We totally have Speed Advantage because we're plus one. Max Airstream should be able to take out this double, and we should be able to roll out here fine. This seems a little, it's a little off. It's a little off, but the Shuckle's gonna be, uh, Shuckle's a little scarier. Definitely go for the Airstream, take you out, and then we can just go into an Iron Head and slide it over to Shuckle. The Shuckle, baby! But Shuckle's big defense bulk. He's big defense bulk, and he just cancels the battle. Okay, I mean, we'll take that. A little odd battle for battle number one, but we go 1-0. and Let's get it. Here we go, going up against an actual team this time. We have ourselves a Trick Room team with Venusaur, Ninetales, and Milotic alongside of it. Okay, I was waiting in that first battle for like a gimmick to pop out. Like I thought he was going to do something crazy with the double, like maybe Dynamax and have like some defensive move, start body pressing on me, or the Shuckle was going to do something. But no, we didn't see any of that, and we just went out there and won that battle. But here we go, battle number two. Who am I going to lead? Who am I going to lead? You might go Ndidi into Trick Room. I mean, if you go Trick Room, I got to bring Ferrothorn and Milotic. That's not bad. Right throw my I'll take rocks out here. I could go, uh, what's it called? I could go Drifflin. Drifflin's rather slow, to be honest, until it, uh, gets its unburden ability. It's, like, a medium speed. So I could go Drifflin. I could rock out with that Shadow Ball, just turn one, get that rolling. Um, yes, I right here. So Rock's gonna come out here and do some work. So I might actually want to bring Mimikyu. Yeah, let's go Mimikyu. 
and then these two. Let's get it. Let's go. Is this the same team I brought last time? No, no, no. We didn't have. We had extra drill last time. We had extra drill last time. I really want to bring my Arcanine, but nah, we're good. We're good. Arcanine's a little bit too fast for everybody. He's a little bit too fast for everybody. But come on, let's go, jeans, baby. Battle number two, trying to go two and zero. Like I said, I've been using this team on the rank ladder, and it's actually been working out very, very well. I like. I recommend it for people who are trying to push the ladder because it's very simple to learn. It's very simple to learn. You can rock out with it and just roll out. And he goes in with his Trick Room Squad right off the rip. Right off the rip. He's probably going to go for a follow me and roll from there. I cannot go into a Shadow Ball, which kind of stinks. Or a uh, Shadow Seek. Wait a minute. Did I pick Mimikyu to lead? Yeah, I did. Okay, yes, I did. I was going to say, did I pick Mimikyu to lead? Yes, I did. Okay. So he sees we have that Life Orb and that. Um, He's got to go for a follow me. That's got to be like a fact, right? No need for a Tailwind. I'd say we just drop a Thunder. Let's look. Shadow Ball doesn't affect DD, which stinks. Which kind of stinks. Hmm. Good D Max now. I'm not gonna D Max. I think I might just gust. Hmm. I mean, we're gonna go for this. We're gonna go for the paralyzer. here. I'm just gonna go into a nice little play rough over on you. Cause I don't wanna. I don't wanna go for the ghost moves and then potential a follow me comes out here. Yeah. See, if I would have went for the ghost moves, we would have been done. We would have missed both attacks. We would have got free trick room up, no problem, without taking any damage. The play rough comes out. Yoink! Some big old damage, and then we're gonna be able to take. Maybe I should just gusted that. Hit, 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 hit. No, I hate this game so much, dude. I hate this game so much, man. I hate this game. I should have just went for a gust. Should have just went for a simple gust. But gust is only base 40, so a little rough. A little rough here. All right, so we're going to gust that. And then I think we just roll into a, uh, I think we just roll into maybe a protector. Let's see what happens here. Another follow me to protect that thing, or are you going to swap? What you going to do? Things going to let it kill and then roll into, since he has trick and roll into the right period, yeah? The right period. Which is totally fine by me. I still have my disguise. I still have protection and all that. Helping hand comes out here. What is this thing going for? What is this thing helping hand for? Protect comes out. Show me that you're going after me. Show me you're going after Mimi Poo. Do it. Nightshade. Now you gotta be going after. Oh, he is going after Mimi Poo in disguise. There we go, yo. That's lovely. Gus comes out here. See you later. See you later, Indeedy. I wish that uh, Drifblim had like a better uh, special attacking air move. I really do wish that, like maybe air slash from Long Signs, but I guess it doesn't learn it. But when he goes right here, this is a, an obvious little play. I could just wood hammer this thing. But he might be, I think he's going to be weak this policy, not even going to lie. And now I'm definitely dropping a Shadow Ball into you, and then uh, I can't protect. And then maybe a play rough? But play rough, or do I just wood hammer this? Or I can double. I'm going to double onto you. Like, we know he's Dynamax, and we know he's going to try to run everything. He's going to drop a Rock Fall onto my Drift Blim. That's a fact. A Drift Blim, Rock Fall. Just set the Sandstorm. And then I can roll out with my um, Milo Tech. Milo Tech should be able to eat up a shot, potentially, and then roll out here. It depends if this thing gets weakness policy. It really depends on what's going on here. Maybe I should have hit it, because this thing could be going for a Bulldoze. See what happens here. Shadow Sneak comes out. Oh my god, the stupid... Mm, stupid terrain, man. Stupid terrain, man. I totally forgot about it. I totally forgot about it. But the bulldozer does come out here. Go into lower speeds. And take off our disguise as well. Oof, that hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. Takes off our disguise. And this thing's going to actually be able to roll out here. And drop a big old rock, I think, over on my, uh, my blim. Over on my blim and take it out. Bro, what you mean? So mad. I'm so mad. <laughs> I think Milotic's going to have to be our Dynamax mod of choice here. Of choice. Here comes a rock wall. Yeet and built. See you later, buddy. See you later, Driplin. It was nice knowing you. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> I'm so mad, dude. The psychic terrain always be fooling me, man. I always forget about it. I always forget about it. It's such a pain. Like, that's one thing I gotta sit down and be like, yo, get that in your head, jeans. What the terrains do. Like, I know what they do. It's just when the moment comes, I totally forget about them. Um, I'm gonna go Fire Thorn here. I'm just gonna try to waste out turns for right now. I'm gonna try to waste out these Trick Room turns. Waste them out, yeah. But we're just gonna uh, double protect. Or you know what? I think he's gonna go here. I really do think he's gonna go here. I'm just gonna drop a. I'm just gonna drop a wood hammer. Like he's already uh. Very dynamics here. I mean, he's already weakness policy, so I might as well go into it. Protect pops out here. I think he's gonna go for the max quake over onto my uh, boy. My little Ferrothorn, leave him alone, please. Here goes the allies with Joe. You little hunko jump. You hunko junk going for an ally switch. Leave me alone. Knuckle coming out here. That yeah, that's over on my Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn's gonna be able to eat this up pretty well. 
It's gonna be plus three on the attack board. Like, jeez, man. This trick room's gotta go. Like I said, I just gotta play this one slow. I gotta play this one very, very slow. Hmm. You're gonna go into another max knuckle. Wood hammer comes out of here. Yoink! Boop! Do a little bit of damage. I'm trying to get that on the right period, man. I'm trying to get that on the right period. We took recoil damage, we took life orb damage, we taken buffet damage, it's getting intense. This man isn't looking too good for you, boy. I'm trying to figure a way out here. I'm trying to figure a way out here. Like, I know I gotta get that Dynamax in with my, uh, Milotic. Yeah, that's my white, and the Knuckles going to do a huge, huge, huge thing on me. But you know what? I'm gonna go for this Iron Defense. I'm gonna go for the Iron Defense. I'm gonna try to drop this Wood Hammer over on this thing once again. So hopefully Ferrothorn might be slower. I don't know. That right here is minus one. Hmm. It is slower. We get an iron defense off, which is beautiful. We are now plus two. That's pretty big for us. That's pretty big for us. That could help us out a lot here. Knuckle comes out again. I think we should be able to eat. I think we should be able to eat. Oh, yes, sir. Yo, let's boost that defense. Let's keep boosting that defense. His Dynamax turns are gone. Woodhammer pops out. No ally switch. So we could potentially do some big old work. This thing's plus four. I'm just going to keep defensing boosting up. I'm going to go for a night shade. I think Mimikyu should be able to eat this up, right? Mimis? Yes, Mimi. Mimi's gonna take himself out with a nice wood hammer. Do some big damage before he does go out, especially with a physical move onto the right period. And then we get out our Milotic Dynamax and roll out here. Now the real question is, um, he's probably gonna go for an EQ, right? Do I protect Ferrothorn? Do I Iron Defense again? Do I Leech Seed? I mean, right period is now faster. But I think I protect Ferrothorn here. Dynamax Milotic, take out the right period, right? Or does he protect and I make the call? Or does he protect and I make the call? I gotta change the weather. Like, I have to 100% change the weather. But I'm definitely going into a Max Geyser on somebody. What other mods did he bring? What other mods did he bring? Did he swap out anything? He has a Phoenix A lot of special attacking. A lot of special attacking. But I think I gotta send a Leech Seed over onto you. Right? Leech Seed can go... Can Leech Seed go onto these things? Actually, I don't think it can. I really don't think it can. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bulk up again. Or you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play the protect card. I'm gonna play the protect card and I'm going to change the weather up. I'm gonna play the protect card, change the weather up. This thing might try to get another trick room, which could actually work in our favor if he does do it. If he does give another trick room off, it's going to work in my Ferrothorn's favor. <clears throat> Let's get it, let's go. All right, dude, we actually playing this one very, very well. Not too shabby, Jeans. Not too shabby. And if he does go for, like, a bulldozer or something, like, just say he does, which that would be a dumb play. Our competitive nature or a competitive ability is going to trigger. It's like a free weakness policy. Protect comes out here. Hopefully that Rhyperior isn't going for one. I don't think it is. I think it would have went first, right? And guys are going to come through and take him out. Let's get it. Okay, Rhyperior gone. And we're sitting 2v1. I'm not too worried about Dust Cops right here. This is just a bulky tanked out match here. And I think we're looking good. I think we're looking very, very strong here. Let's go. Dude, we, we've been playing this one very, very well. Just slowing things down. Taking our good old time with this one. He goes for a Nightshade, which that is totally fine. We're going to be able to eat that up all day. And I think what's called is going to pop out here. I think it's going to be Milotic. I think it is going to be Milotic. Or it could be Venusaur. And if it is Venusaur, that's, that will probably be our tough our tough play. Is it Venusaur? Who is it? Is it Milo? It is Milo. Okay, it is Milotic. And I'm just going to... I'm going to Leech Seed on it, but I'm going to predict the ally switch. I'm going to predict the ally switch. And I'm going to go on the side. I'm going to predict the ally switch 100%. Show it to me, baby. Show me the ally switch, and I'll Leech Seed, and then I'll Max Dark this over. This will be, this will be insane. This will be the read of the century, man. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> He's got to be doing it. Like, come on. Let's see. Show it to me. Oh my lord, oh my lord, let's go, let's go, big reads coming out from Jeans, this guy doesn't know what hit him, this guy does not know what hit him, there it is reads baby, Max Dark just comes out, does a little bit of damage, it's okay, I just like this lead seed read, and I like how we called that and predicted that, love to see it, oh is this in competitive, special defense shop, might have been a bad, might, might have turned out pretty bad for us, not even gonna lie, let's see what happens here, we got special defense shop, hypnosis comes out here, oh he misses anyway, lead seed comes out, Bruh, bruh, no! My read was for nothing. My read was for nothing. Okay, okay. Uh, do I iron defense up again? Or I'm gonna body press here. I'm gonna go into you. 
And I think I gotta take out you. I, th I really do think I gotta take out those cops here. Dang, dude, we triggered this thing's competitive, man. I was just talking about how this how this thing can go into a bulldoze and trigger my competitive, and then I drop a max darkness to trigger his. Like, bro, what you mean? I should just went through a geyser anyway. Probably would have did way more damage. What happens here? Our switch comes through. Okay, so our body press is going to miss, but our geyser is going to land. Well, this is tough, man. This is this is actually real close. I don't have a grass move. That's what sucks. That's what totally sucks, man. I don't have a grass move. I don't own one, man. Hypnosis misses again. Let's get it. <laughs> body press gets blocked. Um, do I double up on one side? Is he gonna ally switch again? I don't think he does. I really do not think he does. Okay, this dude, this one's too close. This one's too close now. It's too close. I can't believe we missed our lead seed. I'm kind of mad about that. I don't think he. I don't think he does the swaps again. Hmm. Let's go into a muddy water anyway. Yeah, let's just go into a muddy water here. Muddy water, yeah. This thing's trying to land its hypnosis. It's not working on us. It's not happening. <laughs> Let's see. It. Let's see what happens. Well, what you want, baby? Just long drawn out. Like, I know we could still lose this because this thing's plus two on special attack. So, match is a lot closer than you actually think it is. Like, I can't believe the Sparrowthorn doesn't have... This thing really allies with you again. Get out of my face! But this thing really... What's it called? This Sparrowthorn really doesn't have a grass move. That's just kind of annoying. Take out that dust cops. Yes, dust cops gone. Okay, dust cops gone. We don't have to worry about it. We're gonna try to land a hypnosis here. I on my Milo Tick. Let's see. Hypnosis. Okay, he finally lands it. Milo Tick is slumpy poo. Milo Tick is slumped. Body press comes out. Yeet. Let's get it. How much damage are we doing here? Taking out. We take out. Beautiful. Let's get it. Let's get it. We got a crit. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Yo, GG. GG. I think we had that one in the bag after we killed that dust cops. But yo, GG to that guy. Let's get it. 2-0 with this squad. Can Jeans do it? Can he do it? Can he go 3-0? I'm feeling good. I think we can do it. We're going up against another G-Max Pikachu team with Gallade, Chandelure, Alolan Ninetales, Rhyperior, and Noivern. This team looks very, very cool. It looks awesome. It looks awesome looking. Like I said, I'm going to be worried about that Pikachu. Like, the G-Max Volt Crash is just, it's just such a strong move. It's such a strong move. Um, who, who should I lead? Who should I lead? I think Arcanine's a solid lead here. I mean... Can Gallade be defiant? I don't think so. They're usually justified Gallades. Yeah, they're justified Gallades. Um, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go Arcanine. I think Arcanine's a nice little player. I think Arcanine into. Hmm. The Exedril? The, yeah, Exedril could work out here. I do have Protect on that Arcanine if I want to go into an EQ. His Pikachu comes out here, so we're gonna go Exedril. We're gonna get Drift Bloom in that back, and then in the final spot, I think Mini Mini Poo comes out here. Because you know, Mimikyu is just so good all around with the Shadow Sneak first turn priority. It also has the Disguise, and it hits like an absolute truck with that Life Orb. Guys, let's get it. Let's get it. This team is so good. This team is so good. I seriously thought we were gonna lose that last match, but we kind of played that so well, kind of just taking it slow, waiting that Trick Room out, and then owning it from there. I do, that's the only thing I wish on this team, is that Barathorn had a grass move, considering three marinas and uh, Milotics are pretty prevalent in the meta, so it's just like, you kind of need that grass move, but Mimikyu has it as well, but a nice power whip on that uh, Barathorn would be awesome. But Snow Warning comes out, Snow Warning, yeah, yeah. Intimidate, yeah. dropping physical attack, even though both these guys are special attacking. Um, hmm. Mold <laughs> Break comes out. I think I could just Iron Head and Extreme Speed. Mm. Mm. I could go Flare Blitz into a uh, Rock Slide. Yeah, Flare Blitz into the Rock Slide. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. Aurora Veil obviously comes out here. I knew that was happening. I knew it. This thing's probably going to go for a Heat Wave. Let's see what this thing goes. Flare Blitz. Yeet. Right, we're going to say bye bye to Alone Nine Tails. This thing's probably Sash, though. Let's see, it is Sash, but the Rock Slide better connect and do some work and make that little Shandy Poo flinch. Make that Shandy Poo flinch. Let's see what happens. Rock Slide comes out. Yoink! Send it. Make Chandelure flinch. Come on, make a flinch. Do it. Give him the flinch keys. Give him the flinch keys. Come on, baby. That's all I want. That's all I want. Do it. Oh, he gets off Heat Wave. Dodge it, Exca. Which one? Who dodged that? Was that Exca? Nope. Nope. Wrong person. Exca goes down. He's going to go down to the, uh, the hail. He's going to give him a nice little buff here. Man, 
Don't do me dirty like that. And I could get Mimi Mimi Poo up in here. Or do I get Drift Blim out here and start rolling? Because he could trigger my uh, weakness policy. Could be pretty good. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. Hmm. I think I come out here Dynamax. I think I do come out here and give it the old Dynamax keys. Oh, you gonna go Gallade? What's good? What's good? You gonna go Gallade out here? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get a nice little Drift Blim action here. And, uh... Another Flare Blitz wouldn't hurt. Another Flare Blitz would not hurt. Or oh, I could boost the speed. Hmm. I don't think Flare Blitz is going to kill, so I'm going to go into here. I'm going to boost her team speed. Going to boost her team speed. If this Channel Lord goes to, ends up going into a Shadow Ball, he can trigger a Weakness Policy. And pretty good for us. That could be pretty, pretty good for us. Pretty good. Because that will boost her speed with the Unburden ability, and then we will just be stacked up on attack. And Jerkland's an absolute beast after that. After that, it's night night. <laughs> it's night night. If it has enough, uh, enough HP. Let's see what happens here. We're going to see a double Dynamax. Shimon Eccolade. Shimon Eccolade. could be very, very nice right now. It's especially because we're going after an Airstream. We'll get the speed boost. We'll get super effective shots. Oh! Hold up! Wait a minute! Threw me a curveball! Dude throws me a big old curveball. Big old curveball, but I know Chandelure is uh, pretty slow. Pretty slow. Oh, Arcanine out speeds the fast little Arcanine. This little Flare Blitz is going to do some damage. If Airstream comes out here, we're going to be able to take out that Khalid. No problemo. This thing goes for a Drain Punch. Uh, Arcanine should be able to eat that up. Yep, Arcanine does eat up. This thing, man, that was a heavy hit in Drain Punch. Heavy hit in Drain Punch. I think we can eat up a uh, a Buffet. I think so. 11 HP. We might be able to. It's going to be kind of close. Hopefully, we can take this thing out from here. Let's see. No, we do not. Dude, the Drain Punch comes up clutch. Rain Punch does come up clutch. If we eat up this Buffet, we will be able to take him out with a uh, with a Flare Blitz. Then we got the Speed Boost as well. Let's see what happens. Here comes the Phantasm. Eat it up, Drifflim. Yes, Drifflim. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay, so Drifflim, we have Speed Advantage. We have Speed Advantage. Weakness Policy is here. Like, this is huge. This is huge. He has no first turn priority moves. I mean, maybe he has it with a Glade that can take out my Arcanine. But Chandler should be gone here. We have the speed stats. I need my Arcanine. I need my Arcanine to eat up this Buffet. Do it, buddy. Yes! Let's go! Let's get it! Arcanine eats up that Buffet. Extreme speed, uh, I think it should take that thing out. Just in case this thing has first turn priority. Right? I think it should be able to take that thing out. We'll see. I guess we'll find out in a second. And then we'll go for a uh, Phantasm over here to take out the Chandelure. What you gonna do, fool? I got speed all day. I got speed all day. But I'm thinking maybe this thing has a first turn priority move. Let's see. This thing guards. Okay, he's just wasting out turns from here. Come on, Extreme Speed, please take this thing out. Take him out. Let's go. Extreme Speed does do it. Let's get it. Okay. So Chandler, like I said, Chandler's gonna be gone. Let's see has something that outspeeds my unburdened plus one drift blim. I highly doubt it. Buffets do not take my drift blim out, but it does take out my Arcanine. And now we get out Mimi Mimi Poo to come out in that back end, roll out pretty strong. We're looking good. We're looking real good. Because we have two of his mons down, right? Comes down to a uh, 2v2. But I, but like I said, I think Chandler's gone here. And Mimikyu can do something dirty. Right, period. Oof. Dude, let's get it. I'm chilling. I got Wood Hammer. I got Wood Hammer, baby. Yeah, 2v2 here. Wood Hammer's going to be able to do some big old damage. Phantasm's going to come out here. And what this? Doesn't it drop defense? Yeah, it drops regular defense. That is huge. That is huge. What you going to do, fool? What are you going to do? You got ally switch or are you going to land a second max guard? That would be insane if he does that and takes out my drift home with like a rock slide. I think that's his only way out. I seriously think that's his only way out. But no, he doesn't even go for it. Phantasm comes in here. Takes out Chandler, no problem. And I think we might be able to eat up another Buffet. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. But so I think Rapier is definitely dropping a rock slide. Take off this guy's and pick up the kill on the Drippin'. But yo, we're getting good. We're looking 3-0 with this team. This team is so good. It absolutely dominates on the meta. Like, oh my god, it's phenomenal. Woodhammer pops out. Life Orb, and he's minus one. Does that take out? It does not take out. But Shadow Sneak's going to be able to come out here and clean that up. Yo, GG. Let's get it, baby. Easy. Easy. Easy, baby. It's that easy. It's that easy. This thing, Life Orb. I think Life Orb, because if it's Life Orb, it's dead right here. It will be dead right here. Let's see what happens. The Buffets take, or the Buffets is going to bring it down. I don't think Buffets are going to take out that, uh, that right here. Only if it's Life Orb. 
It's not light bloom. Okay, so Buffett's gonna bring it down to like one. And let me just make sure there's no terrain up. Let me, let me, I gotta make sure there's no terrain up. It's just, just in case, just in case. A war bell, okay. We were sitting fine. Well, he probably would have went down if there wasn't no war bell. I didn't even realize that. War bell was actually bulking everybody up. Chastity comes out. And we go 3 0. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. That is hype, dude. This is one of my new favorite teams, especially in, the, well, for sure for this new season, it's my new favorite team. I've been using it on the ladder, been dominating, just went 3 0 with it. Best team for the new season? I think so. This team is so, so good. Like I've been saying, I've been using it on the ladder, been doing some work on it, been going on some nice win streaks, just went 3-0 and with it. Like, that drift blend is so strong. You can do so much with this team, especially with that Mimikyu, with the wood hammer coverage move. You got the extra, extra so good. Drift blend throws everybody's off with that unburden and weakest posse, and then the other three Pokemon are just nice to have an all-around mold to the team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.